Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to uh, share with you some happy mail that I recently received and a little coloring book haul that um, I received oh over the last couple of weeks. Um, so first let's start with the wonderful happy mail that I received. I received these two items from a subscriber in Montreal, Canada. And I just want to let that person know that I really, really appreciate all of this. And um, I, it's just so generous. Every time I get happy mail, uh, my heart just um, fills up and I am just so thankful um, but thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and I cannot wait to use these so I got the um, Tombow dual brush pens um, the portrait set so maybe I can use uh, some of these for maybe trying base layers for skin so yeah I am really excited about these guys so I cannot wait to use those. Um, I already have let's see the portrait no not this is the portrait set. I already have the landscape set and the pastels set so this will be my third set of the Tombow brush pens. So I'll set those aside and I also got this wonderful book that was on my wish list and um, you know I've been wanting it for quite a while I just haven't haven't gotten it but um, thank you to my wonderful subscriber um, I'll just flip through it really quick it's August Reverie um, by uh, I want I'm probably gonna totally but butcher this name uh, Chin, Chin, Chintaka Harith. So sorry if I totally messed it up, but anyway, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of or seen this book. Um, but I'm just going to do a clip, a quick flip through. Uh, yeah, this one it came out in 2017, so it has been a while, but. I'll just do a quick flip through. We've got the introduction page. This is printed on Amazon paper. So um, just so you know, there's a lot of beautiful portraits in this book. So it will definitely be fun to do. That one is really cool. This is the Great Horned King. That one looks fun to do. And I love how they have um, the names on the opposite side of the page here. Just beautiful book. That's gorgeous. Feathered Friends. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Viper Guardian. a nice one. Mm. Hepatica Dream. Beautiful. Mm. I love that one. Mm. So yeah, these are going to be oh, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh, I might have to do this one this September. It's got um, this crow or raven here. Raven ruler. <laughs> there it is. I think this is the one that's on the cover. 
Beautiful. Blue hair. I don't think I've, I've done kind of a bluish green hair for a mermaid, but I don't know if I've ever done totally blue hair. Okay, and then it shows um, the other books by the same author here in the back. And it has really nice, lots of room for testing here. So, perfect. Thank you so much. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to do a page out of here. So, um, the these five books, was it six books, um, are books that I purchased over the last couple of weeks. And a lot of them are fall themed. So, I thought that they would be perfect for picking pages out of this coming fall. So this one, I actually looked through it already and picked out some gorgeous pages. Um, so these first two books, I got these two books um, by Jana Prosperina or Yana Prosperina. Um, I'm not sure which way is the best to pronounce her name, but um, this is the fairy coloring book and then the autumn coloring book. Uh, so I'm just going to, I know there have been lots of flip throughs on these, but I'm just going to do kind of a quick flip through of pages from back to front. It's on Amazon paper. As a matter of fact, I think almost all of these are Amazon paper. Oh, I like how um, she lists um, a little thumbnail of the each picture and um, with its uh, name in the back so that'll be nice but anyway these are gorgeous gorgeous portraits of ladies and even these ones that um it just says fairy coloring book there's a lot of like fallish pages in this book i noticed like this one you could totally do um you know autumn leaves with the owl. Here's a guy fairy. I don't normally do men, but somebody may want to do, do that one. And it's got some fall um, oak leaves here, or I think that's what they are. This one is beautiful. Yeah, with the mushrooms and the leaves. Yeah, there's some good ones. Okay, so this is one that I really want to do. So I put a little marker on it. That one's gorgeous. I've seen that one done quite a few times. So yeah, um, the other page that I kind of set aside was the one that's on the cover here. Um, I thought that one would be nice for this fall. It's got like oak type leaves and mushrooms and uh, rose hips. So that would be a pretty fall picture. Okay, um, the next book that I picked up was, yeah, this Autumn Fairy coloring book. So anything out of here is going to be wonderful. Again, she's got the thumbnails with the name of the page in the back. Now, I'll put links to all of these books on Amazon. Um, down below. Oh, this is a cute one. I like these landscape ones. Um, this one, she's got pumpkins. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to do some of these. I haven't decided though if I'm going to try and do it on the Amazon paper. Oh, adorable. If I'm going to do it actually in the book on the Amazon paper or if I want to make copies onto a better quality paper. That's adorable. Oh my goodness. So these are so cute for fall. And honestly, the price on, on this book was really affordable. So cute. She's like a little fox fairy with a tail and her little ears there. Love that one. Anyway, yeah. Lots of great illustrations in this one for fall so um and then i picked up two of selena fennick books um these are are also older um have an older copyright on them but 
Um, this one is Festive Magic. This one is says Fantasy Christmas coloring book. But I also thought it was um, kind of fallish, too. Now, if you're not familiar with Selena Fennick's books, she always gives you two copies of each illustration. So you've got the first set, and then you've got a second whole set in the book. So I'll start from the back. It's easier for me to flip through the um, pages that way. Yeah, and she always names um, her pages or her illustrations on the opposite side. And it's nice because these are, you know, one-sided. So if you wanted to use, um, say, Copics or alcohol markers for a base for, like, the skin, um, you could easily do that with these. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly go through it. See, these are kind of Christmas ones with the holly here and the unicorn. And then this um, fairy here with her bells. And, yeah. Oh, this one is pretty. That's cute with the dragon and the candle. Ornaments with this one. Oh, this one looks like it's um, outside in kind of a frozen winter wonderland type background. Same here, that's beautiful. Candy canes on this one. <laughs> Cute. Oh, I love this one with the mistletoe hanging from her wings. Oh, I'm probably going to have to do this one come when it gets a little bit closer to Christmas time. Oh, I love that one. I'm going to have to mark that one. This is beautiful with that stag. Okay, yeah, so that was the second set. So the first half is the same set of pages. Okay, so let's go to Dark Fantasy. This one is Grim and Gothic coloring book. And I'll do the same thing from back to front. It's easy to flip that way. So yeah, we've got... Let's see here. Okay. Demon Princess, Wolfman. <laughs> These are pretty dark. Definitely uh, living up to the title there. Vampire Knight. There's some men in this one. Quite a few. That one is cool. House of the Full Moon. Oh, I like this one. That's neat. Another man there, Dragon Warrior. So, yeah, these are definitely <laughs> dark. Grim and Gothic, that's adorable. I love that one. Dark Treasures. <sighs> if only I felt a little bit more confident about doing kitties, the fur. I just never know how to do them. I'm going to have to get some practice with that. So, yeah, there we are. We're running into the second set there. So... Yeah, that was Dark Fantasy, Grim and Gothic coloring book. Then the next one I picked up was Elegant Beauties by Elena Lazareva. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> Please forgive me if I am mispronouncing these names here. Oh, that would be fun if you're really wanting to do some hair. These are grayscale. Um, yeah, but it's a light gray scale, which I prefer. I do. I just, I always shy away from those dark gray scales. Or was it, let's see. 
Yeah, and I think this one, was there two sets? Yeah, it's like um, Selena Fenix pages, or books, excuse me, where you have the first set of pages and then the second set here. So that's really nice in case either you mess up or you want to do it again with different color combinations. But yeah, these are beautiful ladies. Oh, gorgeous. I might have to get out my polychromos and do some real hair work here. <laughs> so yeah, gorgeous images in this one. And then the last book I picked up was by Chris Ortega, and it's called A Colorless Kingdom, Volume 1, Myth and Fantasy. And I'll just start with the back. We've got the, um, uh, the testing page here, or a couple of testing pages. And then what's interesting with this book is um, they're single-sided, but the back side is this really cool um, kind of, I don't know, damask or something, kind of, uh, print. Yeah, so that's nice. Um, so it probably, I don't know if you're, maybe, I guess it depends on what kind of markers you might use, but they probably wouldn't show up, but I would definitely still use a um, blotting page behind, behind your work for sure. Anyway, more gorgeous ladies. <laughs> Just beautiful, beautiful illustrations. So yeah, I'm skipping some pages just to speed up the flip through here, but if anybody wants a full flip through on any of these books, just let me know. But I think most of these books have been out long enough where there has been a lot of full flip throughs. So, oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. So I'm really excited to work in some of these books. So anyway, Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, if you did. And um, thanks again to my wonderful sub subscriber friend who sent me these wonderful gifts. I cannot wait to use them. I hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.